Very good check. Thanks, Frank. I know that's practice, but that was very sick. Nick. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Season 2, Round 1 of the East Coast V8 Series. How are you going, Nate? Good, Johnny. How are you, mate? I'm good, mate. They said we wouldn't be back. They said we'd only last one race, and here we are, here for our second season. I believe the correct terminology there is kaboom. We're back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we are. So, exciting news. We have 61 cars tonight. Holy moly, that's way more hands and toes and fingers than we have. And we've got some new teams and we've got some new drivers from new teams. We have a new pole man tonight. Qualifying, I think there was basically one second over the top 15 cars, so this is really going to be quite an epic race. Yeah, for sure. It's certainly a. Uh, it's going to be a good case of we won't know where to look, will we? Right, Many absolutely. Cars on track. Absolutely. Might start off by having a quick look at the track. So, of course, we're talking about Motorsport, so Canadian Motorsport Park. It is a very, very free-flowing circuit. And it is quite a well-known circuit for driving on. The boys absolutely love this, or most of them do. It's a bit of a love-hate relationship for a lot of blokes. Um, cut a long story short, I like it, but... You're jumping around a little bit there, I Troy. I pretty well much can't keep the car on the track, so Dave Baldock yeah, would tell me. Anyway, we're... Um, so we start on the start-finish straight. We come into Turn 1, then we've got the big... Uphill into turn two, where we go through two and two A, down through Clayton's Corner, and then we head uphill to Quebec. Then from Quebec, we head back down the hill to Moss Corner, named after the great Formula One driver Sterling Moss. Then we head up the Mario and Dreddy straight up the hill. We get up the top of the hill through the S's, and then we come through into the last turn in turn 10 back onto the straight. Very sweeping, very open very very enjoyable to drive so I'm looking forward to watching what the boys can do here tonight so mate what's your thoughts on the circuit mate it's a uh, it's a very very interesting circuit isn't it the I was just having a bit of a look see at the layout again and it's one that you've definitely hit the nail on the head with flowing being the key word out of all of it it it's such a hard track as well, sort of the way the cambers are and how the whole tr track is in general. It certainly puts you to the test throughout the uh, throughout the entire evening. Uh, it definitely does. It definitely does. And with such a tight field, I've got a feeling turn one and in the moss in that first lap is going to be absolutely hectic. Yeah, the... Um I have a feeling that our safety car driver may rack up a few Ks tonight in his car. And I reckon that the safety car so, laps will definitely come into play as well in terms of strategy, I think. Yeah, most definitely. It'll be it'll be hard for some of the, I'm going to say the mid-pack, but I reckon a decent chunk of the cars just to try and be able to, just be able to try and stay on that lead lap and just be able to bring their own strategy into it. Because if you get a... Um, get a safety car at the wrong time when you're doing the, your cycle it can go one or two ways either you will be fantastically off and you will get that lap back and you'll jump a lot of cars or you'll on the flip side you'll go that lap down and you'll just be battling for the rest of the night to be able to do it all properly yeah that's pretty much much it it's going to be a battle i know myself the few officials i did this week just to have a bit of a drive of the track and see a few of the new names out there in the officials it was quite interesting it's one of those tracks where I think setup's going to have a lot to 
Yeah, as well, in terms of, you no, know, if you haven't mm. got the right setup and your tyres go off, as soon as you start losing those fronts, you're going to be in all sorts of trouble as you come over these these crests. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's certainly a uh, certainly a tyre killing track to say the least. Whilst it's not very long, the amount of weight and load that goes through them, it's certainly a night that I really wish I wasn't one of those tyres. That's for sure. Oh, absolutely, mate. I wouldn't want to be one of those tyres either. Um, it will be quite a epic, epic evening for that. Um, if you are following along at home, give us a shout out, say good day, let us know who you're supporting. It's good to see we've got Sean McNair out there, the great man from the Nine Fivers himself, and Dave Baldock representing the illustrious PRA faithful, or the boys from the Bantry Alliance. I'm sure Dave will, will give us a few things here and there over the evening. Of course, with 60 cars on track, it's going to be an epic start, which is only about nine minutes away. We might have a quick look at the qualifying, just so we can get an idea of what we have. It's a bit hard. I haven't got the graphics quite right. But as we can see, we've got Corey McFarlane on pole, followed by United Sim Sports' Kobe Jones. Damien Johnson made a return to the series as well. And then we've got Jamie Dyke there in fifth. Todd Haynes, one of the Haynes boys from Taipan Esports, coming out for a drive, for a drive as well with his brother Adam back in 14th. We've got the great James Chastanoof in there. Ash Burrell has done really well to qualify in the top 20. Um, yeah, it, it's a very big field. Unfortunately, three blokes missed out. So um, hopefully those guys will be back next week to try and qualify. I just got to say, no, 61 cars, that's, that's pretty bloody impressive. Yeah, it's certainly going to be a very, very highly contested uh, spot this series to be able to make just make the field. And it's fantastic to see everyone get in and everyone give it a go to be able to just to try and make the field. And it's great to see season one. We saw it was really, really good with how it was all panning out and how like the level of quality through the drivers throughout the field for more than just ability, just their, also their strategy, keeping out of the way with the lap cars, having good, hard, clean racing throughout the whole entire field. And now... You can see the reward because now there's even more people again, and I'm sure there will be action of plenty. Oh, I reckon it's going to be fairly epic, mate. I've got a feeling that, that we are going to be in for one of the tighter series that we've seen in a long time. I don't think it's just going to be the Black War Boys, Jamie McKnight series. I think there's going to be four or five other challengers popping their heads in there. Mm. Yeah, it's certainly. We thought it was tight last year with you missed out on a race or you have one bad result and it hurts you majorly, I reckon. Last year's going to look like nothing compared to this season. Mm. So, speaking of last year, mate, how's the finger? Um, it, it's still a, uh, it's still bent a little bit like the Adelaide chicane, but it is slowly getting there. It's slowly getting a bit of strength back, but it is a really, really cool party trick whenever you... Well, not really a party trick. It's a really good dinner trick whenever you're trying to pour out the pasta once the uh, water's cooled down. I've got a strainer for a hand now because it doesn't go straight. The water goes out, all the pasta stays in the <coughs> saucepan. It's beautiful. Who <laughs> needs to go to Kmart? <laughs> exactly. And another big shout out too to our fellow commentator who helped us out last last season, particularly with the Bathurst race, Mark Duggan. So, Mark, hope you're getting better, mate. And hopefully we'll see you back around the iRacing trap soon. A little bit of jumpiness here, Nath. I'll just have to try and see if I can fix. Not sure what's going on. Yeah, so I, I, I think I'm no uh, IT expert, but I think having 60 cars on the uh, on the track must be making the server work incredibly hard. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening, mate. Well, I've seen this happen to someone else before. Settle down in a minute, hopefully. Looks like it is. Then again. Anyway, Nath, so we are not far away now. We're only five minutes away from getting the start happening. And as we said before, we've got new drivers and new teams. So we have the army from Frog Leap Racing. Um, Frog Leap Racing Juiced. There's, I think, about a handful, about four or five of those guys have come. We have a school of drivers from Fishy Motorsports. I think we've got something like seven or eight drivers from their team 
running tonight, which will be good to see. Mm. I've never had this one happen to me before. Still getting a bit of flickering. And um, yeah, so it'll just be rather interesting, mate, to see how we we go with all these new drivers as well in the series. We've had, you know, a pretty good combination of lakes driving together before. We've done really well, but with all these new names, it's going to be very interesting to see how we go. It's certainly going to be spicing up the uh, the mixer. There's going to be a few new um, options on the menu for uh, just all of it in general. So fingers crossed, everyone will keep keep that same level and stand it up, and we'll be able to uh, be able to have another great season of racing. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, don't forget if you're out there, jump in the comments. Let us know who you're cheering on. Let us know who you're supporting. Thanks, David. And Dave, I'm not going to repeat that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's just very not a nice comment. Yes. Right, so I'm not sure how to get around this flickering. Mm. This is a new one to me. It's, could possibly be a trading paints thing if it's sort of really loading it up or... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. A little bit of trading paints, a little bit on the graphic side, processing something, just to go. break out all the technical IT words. <laughs> Oh, we'll see how we go, mate. Hopefully it'll settle down as we get going. It's a bit calmer there now. Right. Well, we did, we did put out the uh, we did put out the call to ourselves last year of could we get off those L plates to P plates, and apparently in doing so, it's quite a challenge to uh, quite a challenge to get off the red P's to the green P's because this is a lot of cars. <laughs> it is, mate, and my trusty old computer might be letting me down. Anyway. <laughs> We'll just deal with that one as we go. I'm sure Baldock will have an excuse for it. <laughs> and let's go through some of the other names who we might could mention too. We've got Damien Cairns as well who's joined us this season. Pecky's back again. Pecky Performance Racing. I did mention we had James Chesternoof from EMU from the EMU team, another one of the boys from the Banter Alliance. Dave Baldock will be all excited at the moment. Um, Andrew Hoffman, right in the Pecky Performance Colours this season. I guess Andrew, that's what I found out during the week, is a Warbury Wodonga local, I think. Um, what are some of these other new names we've got in the list here? Hayden Harrison, another one representing the team from Taipan Esports so Ben Anthony finally getting his boys to turn up and race <laughs> and I don't know if my computer's going to come out of the pit oh, if it's any consolation Johnny on my end I know your computer's working a lot harder but I've had to turn a few more things down just to try and uh, just be able to try and see everyone yeah I'm just going to try one more uh. thing I honestly work. don't think I've uh, I don't think I've ever been in a server with this many cars. There you go, PB to start off the year. Let's see if that helps. Not... I might settle down in a second. I don't really want to do a restart. Hopefully. Apologise, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't think we'd have this much drama with this many cars, but anyway. All a part of the uh, the learning experience it is, so mm. that's why we got this little period to have a look at the cars and sort of sort out a few of these hiccups as we go. I think we got jump to pick up on someone else. So Chris Island, so Chris Island from Send It Sim Sports. Settle down in a second, hopefully. No. Ah, uh, heck. And anyway, we're about to. There we go, Chasty. Picking up Chasty, alright, it's not flickering on him, so I'm not sure what's flickering on some of the others, but anyway. I'm sure Dave Baldock will be in there letting me know that's got everything to do with the fact that's one of his boys. Oh, Big Lou's in the back there from one of the old mates and son's cars. 
I didn't get to see who that was. As we now get the opportunity to present the grid. As I believe we've got three minutes before we get going. So we have Corey McFarlane on pole, followed by KB Jones, Damien Johnston, Christian Smart, Jamie Dyke, Todd Haynes, Logan Barnett, Paul Young, Hayden Harris, and Blake Delaney, Harrison Den sorry, Blake Warboys and Harrison Dengate. So our reigning champion sitting back in eleventh. And then we have on the next page, Chris Island, Adam Haynes, Michael Whiting, James Chasson, Brenton Nishke, Troy Maguire from Fishy, Ash Barella, Scotty McCune, Brad, Brian Good, Jamie McKnight way back in 22nd, which is a big surprise, Lockie Brownlie in 23, Damian Cairns 24, 25 is Andrew Ritchie, James Chasson, Scott's teammate. Darren Shannon in 26, Michael Stewart, Dave Coleman, Nathan Gore, Steve Kennedy, Jared Bailey, Joe Daly, Roy Clark in 33rd, Darren Crosby in 34, Warren Davis in 35, Michael Dumbrell in 36, Ty Burns 37, Timmy Nichols, Andrew Hoffman, Robbie Bradbury, Paul Hayes, Ryan Van Ree, Andrew Archer, Nicholas Loveridge, Mark Peck, Michael Quain, Old Mates and Sons is a new team to this season this year. We've got Nicky Rush. Represented by Todd Martin from Scorpions Esports, Troy Sipple in Pecky Performance Racing, Frank Hodak, Braden O'Loughlin, Mark Howard, Josh Strage, Dunn, Baldwin, Monday, Mitz, McMillan, Gray, Cook, Tyrone Anderson, and our last car on the grid is Shannon McMillan, who is our safety car driver. I can't believe I got through that all. <laughs> yeah, you've uh, you've certainly been um, working on your lung control, haven't you, Johnny, to be able to make it through that many people and that many cars. It's amazing to see. Mm. Hopefully we don't get too much of a flicker here with this. As we go back to the front row of the grid. So here we are, round one, season two, Motorsport, Motor Park. Canadian in Canada we have 250 kilometers this is going to be an epic race Corey McFarlane first time in the series on pole with Kobe Jones from United in sports sitting beside him and Damien Johnston and Christian Smart on the second row any tips Nath? Um, <clears throat> well that's I'm, I'm genuinely stumped and bamboozled. I, I reckon there will be a bit of safety car action. I reckon that's a safe one, and I reckon there will definitely be a lap, bit of lap traffic at, uh, action, just to call out the other obvious one. You can call me captain by the end of the evening. Um, but no, I reckon it, it'll, it'll be good to see how uh, see how Jamie and Blake go and Harrison and, and Christian sort of compared to how many guys were here last year. So it'll be good to see. I'm excited. Um, we're about to go live. Green flag. Green flag racing. We're away. Oh. Season two. I'll try and get some footage to show something. I'm going to apologise already. We've lost everyone. I think we'll just persevere with this, Nath. I don't think there's much more I can do about it. So, Corey McFarlane's got away cleanly from KB Jones, Damien Johnston, Todd Haynes, Jamie Dyke. It looks like everyone's going to get through this first couple of corners quite neatly here. Wow, this is a fantastic effort from everyone so far. But so many cars left, right, three wides. Um, it's crazy. I've just Nathan Gore's gone off. I can see. I'm just looking at my overtake list in in Discord, which is absolutely <laughs> bonkers. Um, I'm just wondering, mate. I'm just trying to think. As looking like Michael Whiting's now dropping back. Ash Barella's dropping back. Harrison Dengate's yeah. dropping back as well. So the guys are definitely moving around a bit in the field. There's a lot of guys dropping back. Steve Kennedy's in trouble. I did hear a call over the radio. Dylan Gray seems to be caught up in an incident as well, yep. sort of asking for something to be crashed. looked at. So I might just see if my replays work better. I might just have a quick look at Troy Sipple and see if that gives me something. Probably not. No, there's Troy. There was Troy. Um, okay, I'm going to try something crazy here. Yeah, I'm something wondering... crazy, something wild. I'm just wondering whether we just... Oh, I don't know. Uh... This ain't really working, is it? <laughs> is there is there a way we could possibly um, forgo some of the uh, the settings for this evening to, yeah, to get it that. running a bit smoother? I'm just thinking that, mate. I'm just going to ditch. Bear with me at home. 
Um, see if I can. I'll teach okay, well, while while you're doing that, okay. Corey McFarlane is the first uh, first person to lead a lap in the start of season two. He is. Kobe Jones not far behind though, about 0.3 of a second. And Huge freight trainer cars. Getting rid of SDK. It's not freed up any room for me. Righto. Oh, a bit loose there from Kobe. Coming around. This is an absolute nightmare. I apologise, everybody. <laughs> I did not expect it to be this the struggle like this. Well, it's uh, having a quick look through the field to see if there's been any big movers and shakers or anything like that. I think so far we've got a... Uh, everyone sort of seems to be floating around that. The, the biggest movers are about four or five cars sort of in one hit. Frank mm. Hodak has managed to make nine spots already, 49th up to 40th. Uh, Bradley Baldwin has gone up nine spots as well. Another another fairly good effort around this uh, tight, twisty track. And who else we got? We got Nathan Cook who's made up nine spots too, just sort of having a quick quick glance through. A lot of the guys through the mid-pack are doing all right. Jamie McKnight, to have a look at him from the uh, last season, is up four spots already. Uh, Troy Maguire up three spots. Young Harrison down a couple, unfortunately. Um... So yeah, there's certainly plenty plenty going on back and forth. Blake Warboy is our defending champion, up two spots already as well. So he's made his way into the top ten. Well, our top three, Corey McFarlane, Kobe Jones and Damian Johnston, are unchanged for the race so far. Here we go. And an interesting plot twist, Paul Young has come into the pits already. I wonder if this is strategy to get out of some of that traffic. Not sure, mate. It could be. They would be trying something a little bit different. Um, I'm just going to try bring SDK back up. We'll just see. Unless we can get some information. It's probably better than nothing. <laughs> um, just give my computer a second. Uh... I'm stumped. Right, so Corey McFarlane's still our race leader. Let's get rid of those intervals because we don't could do us anymore. There, yeah, so he's still there. Kobe Johnson's still behind. Corey's nearly out to a one second lead, so nearly far enough away to break the toe. He's got about 0.7 of a second up above Kobe Jones at the moment. Yeah. And then the next couple behind Kobe, um, behind Kobe is Damien Johnson and Todd Haynes, and they're all within a couple of tenths of one another. There, yeah, Tim, Tim Cook, mate. Yeah, we know it's blinking, mate. We've just got 61 cars on track, and I think it's stretched our system out to the max. I'm trying to do the best I can to get it up and running. Um, yeah, this is just... They're yeah, not the greatest, guys. I apologise. As you all know, this is a, an amateur broadcast, and this definitely looks amateur at the moment. Yeah, it's, uh, we've certainly been thrown into the deep end we have, so... Sure, we'll keep working through it, though. We'll keep clicking away. We'll keep saying what, uh, what we can do to fix it, or what Johnny can do. And if anyone's an IT wizard out there with iRacing, feel free help. to help us out. <laughs> we do need a uh, call out for the tech line at the moment. I've seen this occasionally in one or two other broadcasters, but I've got no idea what they've done to fix it. So, anyway, we'll just press on, as they say. Oh, there's one particular blue fish that I've uh, I've heard the saying for of just keep swimming. So I'm going to quote Dory here, and we'll say we'll just keep swimming. Well, speaking of fish, Jamie Dyke is leading the charge for the boys from Fishy Motorsports in fifth. Doing quite well. He looks like he's holding in the train there reasonably well this is just yeah we nearly had a safety car but i think we've got away with it nathan gore and dylan gray were stuck in the fence at the moment there but both drivers have managed to get it away i'm sure how they got there in the first place but 
know what's amazed me though out of all this? We still haven't had a safety car yet. Mm, you're not wrong. I'm just going to uh, try. Sure. I'm just going to yep. bring up our track map for a minute. No, I'm going to get you to keep talking, and what I'm going to just going to try a restart of iRacing. Yeah, yeah. So that's, um... you keep broadcasting off your yours, mate. No. We'll, uh, we'll we'll switch over to NATO Radio on 101 yep. FM. Um, <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> it, it's overall. So having a bit of a look through the field, there are a few bang car, a few banged up cars though, which is certainly not surprising. We got a few great little battle packs here. Oh, Ash Burrell has just gone off the track there. I wasn't quite on him. We haven't brought the curse on from last year, so that's a good start. But has safely managed to join on the track again though, which is good. But no, overall, whilst there is a lot of uh, Whilst there is a lot of banged up cars, I'm genuinely impressed at everyone, all 61 cars, having no one tow yet and having no one have to bring out the safety car. So it's certainly a very interesting one. But to run through the top 10 at the moment, to have a, a quick look-see up there, Corey McFarlane still out in front. He's pushing that one-second barrier lead. He's at 0.9 of a second ahead at the moment, behind, ahead of Kobe Jones. Damien Johnson and Todd Haynes are right on the hammer of Kobe, though, so I, part of me is thinking that they must have uh, must have taken a leaf out of Jamie's book and brought along the fuel-saving game to themselves. <clears throat> Todd Haynes just in behind in fourth place at the moment. Jamie Dyke, fifth, started in fifth and is holding fifth, so that's a great effort from him. Logan Barnett, up one spot from where he started in sixth place at the moment. And we got... Blake Warboys has moved up to seventh. <clears throat> Christian Smart, who's uh, we've certainly seen Blake and Christian battling it out last year. Blake's just got ahead of Christian in the battle for seventh and eighth there. Adam Hain, ninth, who's up from 14th. So that's a good, the biggest mover sort of out of everyone in the top 10 so far to go from 14th to ninth. And Hayden Harrison to round out the top 10 there. But... Looking through all of this as well, there are many cars that are in freight trains everywhere. So there's no one, no one that's really managing to pull away. Each of the, each of the cars that are sort of together are all in at least a two to five car battle pack. But Blake Delaney in 12th place at the moment, he's sort of the representing the fishy boys there, and he he's on his own. A bit of clear air in front of him, bit of clear air behind. One second of the car ahead, one second of the car behind. So. He'll be enjoying a little bit of the uh, clear space there. Then we got Mr. Chasty in 13th place. He's uh, trying to do his best to get to Blake Delaney, and we'll admit, Chasty's car does look pretty good as well, on a side note, so mightn't help you out on the radio station, but with these wonky eyes over here, certainly not a bad livery. And how's his Scops teammate, Andrew Ritchie, going, mate? Andrew Ritchie, he is he, he's doing he's doing pretty well at the moment. He's gone from twenty fifth up to nineteenth. So as as I've just uh, crossed over to him, he's battling away with Mister Fuel Save himself, Jamie McKnight. So Jamie's made a pass to get ahead of him there. So that's back to twentieth for him, but still up five spots with this many cars. Certainly something that you would be very happy with. Uh, good, we got our IT expert. Rob Carmichael, that was the man I was meant to talk to. It was on my list of things to talk about. <laughs> Poor old Rob is not with us tonight. Rob has got the Rona, like you, Nathan. Oh, no. You're not confirmed oh, yet. So big shout out to Rob, mate. You are sorely missed. And hopefully you're back next week. And congratulations on your engagement as well, mate. So, yeah, it'll, it'll be good to see you come back as well, Rob. It's um, certainly going to be... <laughs> quite hard to get there and i do apologize as well on a rona topic if anyone uh if this radio voice gives out there is a little bit of a test that i'm waiting for here on my end as well so not on the uh not on the big banger computer on the little laptop so it issues are, are plenty going around but happy that i was able to still join in join in and bring you some of the uh, broadcast tonight as well hey Although one, one big mover I have noticed at the moment, Ty Byrne in car number 64. <clears throat> He's managed to go from 37th place up to 23rd at the moment as he passes someone else up into 22nd, battling through with Darren Shannon and Scotty McCune as the next on his radar. So certainly got a good bit of race pace he does, Ty Byrne, at the moment. 
Ah, oh, good. See, Ty's doing well. He's been doing reasonably well in vets, so it's good to see another one of the vets boys bringing it across into this series. He's all just having a. Uh, he's certainly got like the, the pace that he's got is phenomenal at the moment because he he passed passed one car and then was having a crack at turn one already going side by side on the outside there. So that's certainly a brave move to try and pull off. Hasn't quite got ahead of him yet, though. Oh, we've got a 10-point penalty. has been handed out to Jane McKnight for car contact with Ash Borella. That won't go down too well with the boss man. Mm. That'll, uh, that'll certainly be an interesting uh, interesting conversation for the Discord channels. <laughs> it will be. And hello. I think we're back. Probably a little bit jerky still, but... Let things settle down because I'll be reloading some of my trading paints, I would say. <sighs> Big thank you to Mark Duggan for sending me some tips in Discord and to Rob Carmichael as well. So, <laughs> yeah, just toned our graphics right down a bit. So, for those that have done metallic skins, I apologise because we're not showing them. <laughs> but we've got pictures. Uh, it, it just might be a little bit of a beer goggled effect is all that we're going for tonight so well, it's better than where we were about 20 minutes ago so <laughs> and anyway so as we're looking at oh sorry Johnny we might yep. have a safety car we might have a safety car yeah Braden O'Loughlin Braden O'Loughlin is saying he's gone off the track let's have a look oh He's just off, Mate. he's off, he's off, he's off. There's a wall there. That will stop it. Do it every time. I'd say that could be bringing out a safety car, like you said. I'm not sure. Have you had any more, Nath? I haven't seen... Uh, yeah. uh, I, I, over race control radio, I think that with how far off he is, I think they've determined that he's in a safe spot to be able to tow uh, back, so... Yep. There is... We'll go back to our race leader, Corey McFarlane. Of course, Braden O'Loughlin... Oh, hang on. I meant to do that, sorry. Of course, Braden O'Loughlin is one of the Frog Leap Juiced Boys, new to the series. And our race leader at the moment is Corey McFarlane. Corey doing really well. As we'll go back to live pictures, of course. Big thanks to the Taylor Made Replay. Of course, Taylor Made Kitchens, our new little sponsor of our replay splash screen. So, a big shout out to Jason Gambold. It's certainly great to have Gamby on board. Keeping it in the WKMP family. So, certainly feels around. Definitely is. Okay, so let's have a bit of a look through the field at the moment. Unfortunately, I won't know who's made up a lot of spots or gone down a lot of spots because we've lucked out with our... Um, timing tower but we'll have a look at how Jamie McKnight sitting in 19th so I'm not sure whether he's done his pit stop yet for the penalty that we saw that he was called in for when we came back to live pitches of course Jamie battling it out quite well here he got second in the series last season self-proclaimed people's champion and he's definitely given it a hard crack and Brian Good. I was lucky yeah. enough to do a bit of racing with Brian Good and a couple of officials earlier this week. So, Brian, another one from the Frog Leap boys, doing reasonably well, sitting there in 7 8. And Blake Wall boys has worked his way up the fifth. Yeah, so. <laughs> A, uh, a familiar sight for all of us to see. Blake churning his way through the field and keeping up that race pace. Good work. Oh, so, Johnny, on that safety car topic, we're 13 laps into the race with no safety car yet. I know, it's unheard of. So the, uh, the quality and standard of drivers that we were talking about earlier, this is fantastic to see from everyone. Yes, definitely nothing like split two in vets. <laughs> And as you see, Blake's doing reasonably well. We might just have a bit of a look down the pack. Double check a few other names that we know. 
Uh, Scotty McKeon running in tandem with his teammate behind him. He's missing a bonnet there, so Scotty's obviously had a bit of a run in with someone. Let Chris Ireland jump to the pits as well, so I'm not sure whether anything happened there. Good old race control. Sounds like they're going to be very busy tonight. <laughs> yeah, those boys are certainly going to have their work cut out for them, they are. Oh, their definitely. Eyes will be everywhere. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Benny, with Benny already giving a penalty to Jamie. That, that says quite a fair bit in itself. <laughs> Notice I've got the um, comms on mute. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Uh... Yeah, and I'm no communications expert, but that's probably the wiser move of the two. <laughs> yes. Um, while we're jumping around the field, we'll have a quick look at Andrew Ritchie. So, Andrew, one of the mob in the EMU Sports team. And, of course, good old Andrew is James Chastie's teammate in Scops. Doing reasonably well. He's getting around in 18th at the moment, so that's not too bad, considering the size of the field that we've got. Yeah, it's certainly a very good effort. It'll be interesting to see how the uh, how all the boys think about the pit stop strategies. That's one thing we haven't sort of gone over too much, so I'm very, very curious to see what, uh, what some of the ploys are like. Will some of them try to make it through to a one-stopper, or will some of them do the double-up to try and get out of the traffic and take take advantage of a possible safety car if we get one oh, you'd have to be a champion of the champion of fuel saving to do it in one i reckon and be banking on a safety car as well i, I um, believe the word you're looking for there is jamie mcknight with uh yeah yeah so champion of saving. <laughs> so I, oh, chris island's been squat by for that permission i probably dobbed him in so sorry chris um just looking at the numbers on the old abacus, I reckon you're probably going to be looking at about 29 laps of fuel out of a tank. Um, so lap four or five would be the earliest someone could stop to get it home. And I think the earliest stops you can get it home after your second stop will be about lap 33. So I reckon there could be a few boys that are banking on pit stops. Um, but we'll just see how we go from there. Well, we did see a few boys, uh, it was, uh, it was uh, the PRA boys, I think it was, that were jumping in early at the uh, and taking advantage of it, so it'll be interesting to see how it goes, early game or long game. Well, I've heard the PRA boys have got a UBU magical spreadsheet that's not a macro. Ooh. Uh, you have me at spreadsheet there. I'm a sucker for a good spreadsheet, <laughs> especially, when it comes to, especially when it comes to fuel and uh, stealing notes from Larco's board. Let's drop back. Let's have a look how Ashbrell is going. So, big shout out to Richie and Josh up at Zumbarumba watching. So, young Ash sitting in 35th. I think he had a run in on lap one, from what I've heard, with Jamie McKnight. So, was I think that was a couple times. I think he's having a bit of hard luck, uh, Mr. Ash, tonight. So, hopefully, he can get, get going a bit and, and we can see him move forward again. Yeah, we might jump back and we'll have a look at car in 46th. So Michael Quain, big shout out to Quainy. Another one stepping up from Vets into the East Coast Series this season, representing the old mates and sons team. I think they've got a, they've got a few boys in here tonight. This will be good to see. Um, we might just go a little bit further back. We've got Paul Hayes. So fun fact for those who not, don't know with the series, Paul has been... He was racing the... Um, Yacht Stefan in the Sydney to Hobart with his son, as well as a few other boys on the, on the boat. And were, I think they were out of memory. I think they were the fourth boat home, fourth boat back to, to Hobart. So it's a fair effort from from Paul. It's an extremely good effort. Yeah, it's quite um, quite a fun fact of our boys we've got in the group here tonight. Uh, well, it certainly, even with all the uh, the IT bingles, it certainly didn't take you long to uh, to be able to uh, break out your fun facts for this year, did it, John? <laughs> uh, it's actually got to the point now where I've got people sending them to me all the time. 
We'll, uh, we're going to have to have a, a Johnny fun fact segment throughout the uh, throughout the season. Oh, I think we might have to at some stage. <laughs> I have to write them all down and uh, and we'll do a vote who's got the best fun fact or which is John's best fun fact of the year. And, of course, we've got Warren Davis, another one of the PRA boys. So I'm probably going to say this year that the PRA faithful have just about left us. They're all basically driving except for Dave Baldock. So not, not sure why Dave's not driving. Um, oh, too much fun hanging out with us. Can't blame him. Of course, there is a fun fact that he um, fell off a horse bear back at Christmas. <laughs> it's a um, highly likely around this time of year. <laughs> oh, yes. Anyway, I'm sure Dave will be all over that. I'm going to check the comments now. He's probably already on to me. <laughs> uh, a big shout out to the Stewie War Boys from all the way up in beautiful Queensland. And Dave Kirby, come and join us as well in the chat. So if you are watching on the stream, jump in the chat, say good day. I think I saw Rick Schreiber in there as well. I think he was a, another local boy from Albury Wodonga. Um, yeah, jump in the chat. Let us know who you're cheering for. If you've got any questions or queries or no, let us know. We'll, we'll follow up and have a look around. We might just jump back up the front. It's a bit tight again. As we can see, we've got KB Jones tasting down Corey McFarlane. Lap traffic starting to come into play as well. So we've got two of the young lads of sim racing out leading the pack at the moment. This is great to see. It's trying to have a bit of a, uh, a click through the field and there's, there's a few little sort of gaps that are starting to form up here and there, but there's still plenty of people that are working very, very hard for their position and trying to be able to keep where they um, keep where they are as well. And a big shout out to Dave Kirby's giving me another tip, which I'll try and sort out next time. Yes. Definitely not going to get off our, our red peas anytime soon after breakfast tonight, no. <laughs> it's a, uh, tonight we can, tonight's broadcast we can nickname the coaching lesson. <laughs> yes. So. so, as we can see there, Kobe's gotten past Corey. And Damien Johnson is sitting right behind these guys watching closely as well, so pinching the seat. As we've seen last season, it doesn't pay to battle away. It pays to sit back and serve your tyres a bit. You know the other interesting thing as well? Mm -hmm. Our Mr. Number One from last series, Blake. Only a second and a half off the boys ahead now after starting 11th. So he's certainly, uh, his way certainly starting to uh, make his presence known to some of them. Of course, for those following along at home, let us know what your thoughts are on running the number one. Blake giving up his number 63 to run number one on this season. Most of the boys in the team thought it was an interesting choice. I back it in. You get the number one, run the number one. Big fan of it. I haven't ever run the number one, FYI, but a big fan of it. And Nathan, your mum says hello too. Hi mum, hi dad. Good, just got to hang out with mum and dad over the last couple of weeks, so because all the borders opening up and all that, was able to spend Christmas with them. So it certainly, certainly was a good time of year. It was. Ah, it's lovely, mate. Oh, we've got someone off there in the grass. I'm not gonna have a look at that. Is they've hit the wall. And we might just jump back with another couple of other tight battles. Harrison Dengates in a bit of a battle here with. Of a battle, he's chasing down James Chastanief in front of him. So, young Jake, after that little bit of moving around at the start of the race, he's back in the same position that he started out of in 12th there, so that's a good effort. Right, he's doing quite well. Of course, he's got Troy Maguire from Fishy Motorsports right behind him, and Michael Whiting. And Jamie McKnight's worked his way back up to 15th. So we've got a little bit of a battle up the front there. We haven't said good day to Christian Smart. So Christian Smart 
in a lovely little tussle there as well with with Hayden Harrison, just to make it confusing for me. I've got Harrison Dengate and Hayden Harrison. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, nothing like dyslexia to uh, stumble us up there. Yeah. So, of course, Hayden Harrison rubs in Taipan Esports. It's good to see Ben's finally got his team to back the series that he puts on. After last season, very little representation. Can we add a near miss with a safety car there? Car number 82, Matthew Mites. I hope I said that correctly, mate. The, he was uh, caught up in a little bit there and stuck on the side of the road, but he has got it moving again. A little less arrow on the front of his car with no uh, bumper or no bonnet. But it is good to see him going again. Then Christian doing reasonably well as we come into Moss. Very tricky corner, Moss, to get right. It's a double apex. You've got to get down pat in one turn. As we head up the hill. So the Mario Andretti straight. So another little fun fact, mate. Mario Andretti's got a lovely little vineyard in Napa and makes a beautiful Sangiovese. So uh, <coughs> you, you, you're starting to uh, let the fun facts out left, right, and center now, aren't you? <laughs> and you're just waiting for me to say something and then kaboom. Oh, we got an accident there in the last corner. I'm sure Quainy was involved in that. I'll just see if we can pick out what happened. I think Nicholas Loveridge might have gone off as Quainy was going in the pits. Let's go into the tailor-made replay and have a look what happened. So Nicholas Loveridge following Quainy. Quainy's gone into the pit lane and lost it. Oh! Oh! Poor old Nick, victim of Quainy losing it. That's not great. Anyway, we'll see what comes of that. And that one over to race control. Definitely see what Ben comes up with on that one. Yeah, it'll be an interesting one. It'll be very interesting. We'll just have to sit back and watch and see what happens now. Mm. Mm. So, back and to my fun fact. Big. Back to my fun oh, fact. Yeah, 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 fun fact, yeah. fun fact. I'm never going to stop a fun <laughs> fact. What have you got? I was just going to say, if you ever do get the chance to go over there, it, um, it, Mario's got a lot of um, memorabilia in the mm. cellar with the cellar door so i think i spent more time looking at the memorabilia than i did tasting wine so yeah <laughs> fun fact as we've got toddy hines and jamie dyke have gone into the pits and i'm still on replay so we go back to lock the pitches yeah it was uh well, they, they beat me to it these boys i was gonna say who is going to be the first to blink well that 24 so we can that's pretty much going the middle split, I think. Mm. Gives them a good amount of flexibility now, sort of hitting, hitting this earlier one. The only issue for them will be if, if there's a, uh, a safety car or if there's, sorry, if there's, a, well, one, a safety car, but two, if there's any traffic, depending on where they pop out. That's true. That is true. And this is going to get very interesting now because the traffic will have a part to play. We'll just have to track mm. that so where people are at. Got just a map of dots. Indeed, everywhere. <laughs> yeah. So at the moment, we're on the car in seventh position time. And as you can see, we've got cars everywhere, as we said. Yeah, there'll be a few of those boys that'll be fighting hard to stay on that lead lap. Because with how many cars there are on the track and the, like we just saw, the uh, the non-stop action of just constant cars going around, it's going to be, once you go a lap down, the amount of pace that you'll lose is going to be phenomenal because every time you go, OK, let's go quick, I've got to move over for the car. Let's go again, I've oh, got to move over for the yep. other car. Uh, that's right. This is just... Phenomenally, just keep lapping traffic. Uh, so we might just go for a quick look down the back towards the pack. It's Aaron Crosby, M1 Motorsport. He's battling it out quite well here as well. He's in an interesting battle pack with Bradley Baldwin about to make a move on him on the inside here. No, he doesn't get the job done. And just in front of these guys, 
is Jamie Dyke. He's come out after his pit stop. And so we've got some other cars at close. Ryan Van Rees sitting up in 39th. He's chasing yeah. down Dave Coleman as Josh Grage goes into the pits. Yeah, he just got passed then uh, by Dave Ryan did. So nice clean move by those two boys. Fair racing. Carry on, as we say. Hmm. He's got a couple of huge movers throughout the field as well, which is amazing to see too. So, we got? Oh, sorry, you go. I was going to say, KB Jones has dropped back. Damien Johnson's got past. So, of course, these boys are teammates, but with the courtesy of their merge, the United Sim Sports and Synergy Racing. Uh, this is a battle and a half up front. Less than a second overall three of them and Blake Wall boys chasing them down. Yeah, if you're in Blake's position right now, you'd just be praying that those boys kept battling. Let me into the action, he'll be saying. I think that's all you can do. So it would be interesting to see out of these first three who blinks first. Who's got the best poker face? That'll be the question. So some interesting lines being used here as well. Mm. Sort of having that look in the inside. Yeah, who's going to pull the trigger and who's trying to just do the bluff to try and see if it makes the other guy make a mistake? With that being said, though, with how flowing this sort of track is, and after watching a few, a fair few of them now, sort of as we've been scrolling through, there's certainly more than one way to tackle this track. Like, there's a few different drivers with a few different minds and a few different styles. Some attacking the corner a lot more. Some waiting for the big flow and turning in late. Like the famous saying goes, there's more than one way to skin a cat, and there's certainly more than one way to get around this track. That's for sure. Oh, absolutely. And you got to get these corners, like, coming here under the Mario Andretti straight, coming out. Oh, something off in the background there. You need to get it spot on, as it looks like here. KB Jones might be thinking about a move. I'll tell you what, Blake's closing seat. his gap there. Yeah, well, here, here we go. Here's a racing fun fact. Blake was about 0.8 of a second quicker than the three boys in front of him, including Corey McFarlane in the last lap. So it'll be interesting to see what lap times are as they cross this time by. Cap going out a little bit. Coming back in again. Okay, so Corey McFarlane on a 17.9. Damien Johnson an 18.2. Kobe Jones 18.2.